Thank you very much, Daniel and Kelly, for the invitation. I'm happy to be here. Uh, so today, in these 10 minutes, I will briefly talk about how we at the Ludwig Boltzmann Gesellschaft in Vienna uh, support uh, the involvement of civil society stakeholders in uh, transdisciplinary research uh, in order to bring new perspectives into research and to increase the efficiency and social impact of research. I will not go much into details into the why, because this was very well explained also in the first two presentations, and we all share the same principles in this community. Um, we uh, bring these new perspectives into research, not only by involving uh, civil society stakeholders and experts all the way along the project. So we're talking here about, in the, in the words of the first presentation, uh, co-design and co-creation, or in the words of the second presentation, more in the direction of extreme citizen science. But we also have sometimes uh, civil society in the lead of project uh, or other actors that are normally not in the lead of projects, such as young scientists in the lead. And in this way, we can uh, foster a high, a high diversity of uh, projects, expertises and perspectives. Additionally, we also strive to embed these uh, practices in the Austrian research environment uh, by building uh, strategic partnerships with other organizations in which we support them to build these expertises within their organizations and we fund projects within their organizations in order to um, guarantee the sustainability of these practices in the Austrian research environment. So here I just give a couple of examples of the projects we support. Uh, some of our projects are patient and public involvement projects in which uh, patients or their relatives or other experts with living knowledge in, in the field are directly involved in the project at, at the eye level as co-researchers. Uh, in our uh, Action for Sustainable Future Hub, uh, we have projects at the intersection between art and science. Uh, uh, and this is one of these uh, strategic partnerships that we have in this case with the University of Applied Arts. Uh, so here we have projects at the intersection between art and sustainability, um, so art and science for, around the topics of sustainability. And this is a particularly interesting case, I find, because it's exactly one of those cases in which we managed to have actually, in many cases, civil society in the lead of the project. So it was civil society experts and actors who are involving the researchers in their projects and not the other way around. Uh, additionally, we have um, uh, another example, Caring Communities Project. Uh, in which we are, um, in, also in this case, we have uh, civil society organizations uh, such as non-profit organizations who have uh, the expertise on the ground uh, on topics around caring communities, either involved in the project the, the whole uh, way or uh, leading the projects. Uh, we have, um, so how do we do that? How do we reach this diversity of perspectives and projects and of stakeholders? Uh, we follow our funding, uh, uh, facilitate and follow principles. So we support the projects all the way around from the uh, application until the end. Uh, so even before the application itself, uh, we support the projects, uh, the uh, people interested in, sub in submitting an application by offering them personal consult personalized consultation on how to adapt their project to the call. Uh, we uh, offer writing workshops and webinars. Uh, we also work sometimes with idea sketches. So we had applications in which the applicants could uh, follow a two steps project in which they could present like a very brief one page project idea and structured. And then based on that, they could get a personal consultation on how to develop the project further. Um, and they also didn't have in the first phases of the application to have already their partners. We were supporting them also in matchmaking with the partners they needed for their project. And then we had uh, writing workshops, just the one you see in the picture, uh, in which together with the new partners, they were developing, supported by us, their project application. Uh, so this uh, allows us to encourage also people who don't have a lot of experience in writing project proposals, but have uh, new innovative and different ideas, different perspectives to uh, access uh, this support. Uh, we, um, in order to guarantee this diversity of our projects, we also uh, follow the same transdisciplinarity uh, principles in the evaluation. Uh, so we have um, civil society stakeholders that are relevant for the specific projects also in the evaluation panels. Uh, so for instance, in these projects around uh, art and science for sustainability, we have not only researchers from the different disciplines around sustainability and art, 
but also civil society experts such as uh, activists, for instance, or associations in the evaluation panel. Uh, in the patient and public involvement and engagement projects, we have not only the researchers, but patients themselves in the evaluation panel and public health experts. And in the Kevin community projects, for instance, we had not only the researchers from various uh, disciplines, but also public administration experts and uh, non-profit organizations who are uh, applying Kevin communities uh, concepts on the ground in praxis, so praxis experts. Um, once the projects have been selected, we uh, facilitate, we support them all the way through, for instance, uh, personal consultation. So they can uh, get personal consultation from us uh, in, for instance, priority setting. So how to identify and prioritize research questions together with uh, civil society stakeholders. Uh, they can be supported on methodologies on how to do this uh, co-creative direct involvement at the high level uh, of uh, patients or um, living knowledge experts in their projects. Uh, they can get support on ethical questions uh, around participatory research or on uh, how to um, foster the societal impact of their projects. In particular, around societal impact, we have a complete impact planning for our projects. So we, supported, we support them from the very beginning in order to create an impact plan. So to reflect on the societal impact that they want to reach with their project and to uh, reflect together with them how they can um, how they can fill the gaps between their project and the societal impact that they want to achieve. Uh, and along the way, we have also, uh, we follow them along the way in order for them to, to do together with them, like monitoring and uh, qualitative evaluation of the impact of the project along the way through also uh, tools that we develop. Uh, we have uh, capability building for our community, open for everyone, but also specific capability building embedded in the funding schemes. So uh, purposely developed for uh, the projects uh, of the different funding schemes uh, and offered along the way of the project at the right moment when they might need that. Uh, some of that is uh, mandatory, some is uh, facultative. And we have different kinds of, uh, of uh, capability building depending on the project, but for instance, again, around ethics, around societal impact, or for instance, about methods uh, in transdisciplinary uh, research or about uh, strategies of cooperation in transdisciplinary teams. Uh, other ways in which we uh, facilitate our projects are, for instance, by offering them a peer network in which they can have peer learning uh, between each other, uh, we also have in some cases an implementation manager, uh, which is a person that is um, specifically assigned to each project uh, to follow them and to uh, cater to their need and uh, guide them through this uh, specific, uh, toward the specific experts, uh, depending on their needs. And we develop in-house resources that are also open to everyone. Uh, for instance, uh, a guide for researchers how to uh, in, in embed uh, patient and public involvement and engagement in their uh, projects, or for instance, these impact tools that are used to support the projects along the way with a really concrete impact tools such as reflection tools or interviews tools, uh, guidelines, etc. So uh, they can use those to monitor the uh, how are they following their uh, impact aims, uh, societal impact aims along their project. This, uh, at the end, I wanted to present very briefly another way in which one can also uh, support trans participative transdisciplinary research out of the box. So a bit out, uh, outside of the traditional way of uh, using funding schemes. Um, this is something we did in the past. Uh, so in 2015, the Ludwig Boltzmann Gesellschaft launched a big crowdsourcing campaign in which we asked uh, several thousands of people uh, what do they think that are the most pressing problems in the field uh, of mental health? And uh, there was a clear that there was a preference for uh, around the topics of uh, mental health of children and adolescents. So all these preferences and research questions and problems were uh, clustered, voted, uh, voted, analyzed, and so on. And based on those, uh, we we um, facilitated some ideas labs. So some workshops in which we brought together uh, different um, researchers from different disciplines around these problems uh, to create an inter interdisciplinary group uh, together also with uh, experts on the ground and people affected and other stakeholders in order to discuss together how to form a new research plan 
uh, around the uh, most pressing questions that were um, found uh, among these. And um, so they created new transdisciplinary research groups, which were then funded for four years uh, to carry on this uh, transdisciplinary research with the direct involvement of uh, stakeholders. So this is just another way that I wanted to show outside of our funding schemes in which uh, this type of research could be uh, supported. So I'm finished here. I hope I was in the time. And uh, if you want to know more uh, about our uh, support uh, and follow and funding uh, scheme and our offers, you can find them here on our website and you can follow us on Twitter. Thank you very much. I give the floor to the next speaker and I'm looking forward to the discussion afterwards.